body spread, stretched, broken, hanging from barbed wire in the mud and muck of battle. Draped, garlanded, wind blown, cold amid the stench of warfare. This is no computer game. TV series festooned with celebrity, but a place of darkness where life is mocked by death. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama samabathani. That is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. This is a desolate scene with body, cross and tree fused into a single suffering whole. A manner reflecting the description in Isaiah 53 of the suffering servant a figure so stricken by afflictions that he incites revulsion, scorn and horror. We struggle to face this Jesus in his death throes, ribs exposed, tortured head. We're desperate to turn, to walk, to run away from the horror. For this is not the powerful, sea-stilling Lazarus rising in command, Jesus. Face is blackened and featureless, arms shattered, legs a single solid mass embedded in some unspecified, indistinct landscape. Paint is applied in a scrambled, expressionistic manner and the range of colours is minimal. The lurid yellow background evoking the putrefaction of death, contrasting starkly with the austere monochrome of the figure. Here, Jesus is broken and alone. No holy family to comfort him. No life of Brian moment. Jesus, the word made flesh, incarnated God, distilled into this broken, bloody mess, dies on the cross. Mary grieves, disciples run away, friends desert. Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yields up his spirit.